Hey everyone, welcome back to Armatist Reviews. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about the Tandem Across Cross Out Safety Delete for the CZ Scorpion. <laughs> today, I'm going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Tactical Gun. This has an adjustable key grip. This can raise up and come down. All right, so first things first, I have double checked this multiple times and to check it again, it is clear. And uh, I'll go ahead and take the magazine out. Um, so uh, the second thing I wanna go over is in full disclosure, um, I did not pay for these parts on the CZ Scorpion. Um, I ran into Alex at SHOT Show this year, um, started talking to him about his products, which are accessories for different gun platforms like the Ruger uh, PCC, CZ Scorpion, uh, Ruger 1022, um, Caltech PMR, uh, CMR 30s, um, all kinds of stuff. So go check them out if you guys are interested in some of those. Um, but he's like, hey, we got some parts for the CZ Scorpion that we want to get out there. Um, some reviews, some honest feedback. Do you want to do one? I said, I'd love to, but I don't have a CZ Scorpion. My buddy does. He's like, sure, use it. So he let my buddy Josh, thank you, Josh, let me use my CZ Scorpion. Sorry, let me use his CZ Scorpion for my video. And uh, so we went out and uh, did it. So. Um, you'll notice it is in red. Um, you can get them in red and black currently. Um, it's made of uh, billet aluminum, I believe, and uh, has a, a kind of a little white line there that says, and then a little box that says TK. Um, so you can, the line is obviously to indicate which, um, if you're on fire or safe. Okay, so let's go into the install. I'm not gonna show the install of this because there's lots of great videos on YouTube on how to replace all these parts. Go check those out if you need to see that. I'm just gonna not go over that. Um, the install was a little rough. Um, the set screw would not drive through the piece that the safety delete goes over. So the safety delete is kind of like a cap that goes over um, like an end piece of a crossbar and both have holes on them. The hole on the safety delete is not threaded the piece that goes on the end of the bar is threaded and that's where the set screw threads through. So it goes, so if you pretend this is the safety delete, it goes through the safety delete, through the end piece of the crossbar, and then all the way through again, and um, it secures it that way. So I try to set the thread, the, the set screw, and it would kind of jam up after like a turn. It, would, it wouldn't, it just wouldn't go. I, it, you know, it's really pushing back, had to force it, didn't like it. So I contacted Alex and asked him about it and he, um, had me try a couple things, had me try switching sides. It didn't matter which side it was on. Um, Cause the safety delete is ambidextrous, but he wanted to just see, maybe it mattered which side, just to see if maybe there's a little bit of tolerance difference. It didn't matter. Um, so I, uh, what he suggested, and he said he, he offered this to, he would offer this to anybody, um, whether it was for a review or if it was a paying customer. Um, but he said, go ahead and try to just bore out the hole, the non-threaded hole on the safety delete itself, not the end piece of the crossbar, but just the safety delete. Um, Cause maybe it just was a little off center, off aligned, you know, uh, misaligned, sorry. Um, or perhaps the hole was just a little too small. We weren't entirely sure. Um, but he said, just go ahead and just drill that out just a little bit and see if that helps. Um, so I did that and it still wouldn't go through all the way. It would go down further, but not all the way. Um, so then I realized, um, if you, so let's pretend this is the safety delete. This is a great example. Um, so it would go through and it would go through about this far and it would stop. Well, on this end, on the inside of the, the safety delete, there's a hole um, that it has to seat into. Well, I forgot to drill out that piece um, to kind of bore that piece out. So I just drilled it out again. So in there, it didn't go all the way through, just built, kind of bored out the, the thread on the inside here. And then it threaded through nice and easy, perfect. Um, and Alex said, you know, try that. If for some reason it doesn't work, if for some reason you mess something up, something goes wrong, he would replace it. Um, or if he just, if I just wanted to replace it off the bat, he would have done that too. But he said, if you want to try and fix it so you can use it now, try drilling it out. So that was really cool that like, you know what? Drill it out, see how, if it screws it up, we'll send you a new one. So that was really cool. Um, drilling it out ended up working. So he didn't have to send a new one, I didn't have to wait. Um, it worked out great. So once that was done, it, it worked great. Um, just even if the, 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 the hole in the safety delete is a little bit bigger than it should be, it's not loose. It doesn't like screw anything up because 
the hole in the safety delete is not holding the safety delete in place. It's threading through and then it's it's threading through the end piece of the crossbar. It's kind of hard to describe. When you take it apart, you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, so it, there's no there's no messiness, there's no floppiness. It just it's still nice and tight, um, and it it works great. You guys can see that. There's no no movement. Works fine. So um, install was a little rough. Alex took care of me. Um, got it working. Works great. Josh really loved it. Doesn't do anything for me because I'm a right-handed shooter, but as a left-handed shooter, it's nice and out of the way. So he really liked that. So anyway, um, pretty good product. Um, as long as you can get, get it installed, which you might have to drill it out a little bit, maybe if your tolerance is a little off or something, it's not that big of a deal. It, it was fine personally, like it wasn't that big a deal, but your mileage may vary, take it for what you will, but it, once I did that, it was fine. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, it is ambidextrous because you can put it on the left or right side. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a good little product. So um, go ahead and uh, if you guys want to see future videos, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Um, let me know that you like the video. Um, I'm going to be doing some giveaways on Facebook only um, to try and grow that a little bit. So if you guys are want a chance to win some stuff, um, it's not going to be like a scar, but, you know, just a box of some some products that people might want to try out. Um, so go be sure to follow my pages. And uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below or message me on Facebook. And uh, I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks, guys. Take care. Oh,